Richard Gene, the fishing machine, here again. I'm here to answer a Q&A question about my boats. Here's the first one that I use right here. It's a 16-foot Aldwell. They're made in Lonsdale, Arkansas. This is the boat that swamp people used to use in their first episodes. Real thick aluminum. Uh, a real hardy boat. Takes waves real well. And it's uh, just a nice boat. Up here on the front, I've got a 55 pound thrust Minn Kota Edge on here. It's a, it says one hand control tilt tiller. I like those better than foot control. Uh, this particular model here will unclamp and you can take the, the, the whole trolling motor off. Okay. Now, I've got a Yamaha on it. On this boat here, I've got a Yamaha. It's a 50 horse 2008 model. And if you'll look right here on, on my fin, it says Lucky Sue R Incorporated. For years, I called my wife, Sue. All right. And it has a power lift on it. What makes this little boat so unique? Ever who put this power lift on the transom, mounted this motor perfectly. This thing will jump out of the hole and up on top of the water just in a matter of seconds. It's really a little speed boat. And that's what I fish I love, mainly in Gunnersville lake where it gets real rough because i trust this boat i've been in some rough water with it okay and uh let's move to our next boat <laughs> I don't know where Elmo's at. Now, this boat is everything about it. It's 2011. Me and Elmer went to Bass Pro Shop, had a little money. We wanted a crappie boat, something specifically for crappie so we could get up real shallow in the springtime where nobody else could get. Oh, we had a game plan. Me and Elmer always has a game plan. And what we done, we figured out that being it was just a John boat, we couldn't fish effectively with it. So what we done is made a little, little bass boat out of it. Being that me and Elmo's been doing carpenter work for about 30 years, we built us a front right here in this boat, mounted a trolling motor, and this is a Minn Kota Edge. It's a good quality trolling motor, uh, and it's got a 45 pound thrust, but because this little John boat is so light, if you don't watch it, if you hit the right gear, you'll go flying. I mean quick. All right, we put us a depth finder on here, which is a lot better depth finder than I have on my better boat over there. Uh, and it has a 20 horse Mercury, which these little motors right here are real expensive. I mean, I'm ashamed to tell you what I paid for it, but it's a four stroke. They're real quiet. And it says on it, ultra low admissions. So they're environmentally friendly. And me and Elmo's all about environmentally friendly. I mean, that's really important. And um, uses hardly no gas. I mean, I've been all over these rivers and lakes with this little outfit. And it ceases to amaze me how shallow you can get back up into places that's full of fish that nobody can get into not unless you had an inner tube 
but I'll show you a little bit about what I've done right here. This took a little bit of ingenuity, but uh, really more like common sense right here. I've got a Marine battery in here, it's a Marine Master, and I built a little box, if you can see in there, to keep the battery in position to keep it from sliding and then bouncing around. Um, I used aluminum track. It's a commercial grade um, aluminum track, they call it. They put in commercial buildings. And they use as a wiring chase. It's, and I've, I run them, three of them. I run uh, four of them, excuse me. One along the side. One right here along this side, all the way up. And, and a repeat mirror image on the other side. And I strutted those all the way across. So the only wood framing that I have right here is, is this is pressure treated. And um, I just framed out a little hole right here to get access to my battery. And I have, uh, I stole away a life jacket and things of that nature. A fire extinguisher and all that kind of stuff. Registration is in there. And uh, then I put a seat mount right here, mounted it. And of course the depth finder, mounted the trolling motor. And then I've got my depth finder right up here. I also wired lats, one on front, one on back. So I've done a lot of work to this. I put a carpet in it, used contact cement to make sure it stayed. This is what they call a live well, but I stocked it up and it's a uh, dry storage. And it's all I need because right here, I mounted another seat mount where you can put a seat. Cut a hole in here, and now I have a battery for my motor. I believe it cost me $500 extra for this little motor to put an electric start on it. And that's the reason for the battery. I also run one light off of that battery. A five gallon gas tank, and I'm just as mobile as, as Kevin Van Dam. I can float, I can fish anywhere count that and that's about all they are to it just a cheap economical boat you know for those of y'all who really can't afford a big bass boat uh just get you something like this make you one i mean you can catch just as many fish out of this as you can a twenty-one thousand dollar bass boat if that's what you have to have get it because me and elmer has always thought we believe in our heart to endeavor is to persevere never give up on anything do like a bulldog grab a hold of it and don't let go because go fishing when you can yeah cause it's good for you <laughs>